Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today I made this really cool uh, toy for my dog. Now he loves this ball and he loves uh, tug of war. And I figured, you know what, to keep him busy, I made a toy instead of a swing that I had here, I took this down and I made this so he can kind of come outside and play tug of war um, with this device. Now they do sell stuff like this. I just made my own version of it. And this is something that you guys can do yourselves with just some rope and some uh, rubber hose. Um, I guess if you have it, this is something that you need to buy. Now, I did buy this from Amazon. I bought it for a different purpose, actually. Uh, it's very stretchy. They use this for like uh, slingshots and stuff. So it's very, it's like an organic, nice, uh, pure silicone rubber band, I believe. And anyway, so this is how it consists of. This is a regular rope. And as you can see, um, over here the stretch so when the dog pulls it keeps on stretching and stretching and stretching and until as you can see there's no more stretch this stretched really far this is what's nice about this rubber band hose it just literally stretched like over four feet um or up to four feet because it is by itself like a like a foot he really wants to fall anyway and then all the i did is with this extra slack of rope i just don't want it to be caught onto branches i just put a small little rubber band here just to kind of tie it off and then the rest of that extra rope up there that's just ex excess rope that i put up there just in case i want to make it longer or shorter that's what i have here now uh, the problem is too if you do build something like this um um I'll, I'll leave a link what kind of rope i have in the description so you guys can uh, check it out and see what it is maybe you have something similar to yours and a link down below for this rubber band which is really nice it comes in a roll guys it is a little bit expensive but i bought it for a different reason and this is working out very well now the only problem is when you have branches and trees when he lets go um, this kind of can shoot up a little bit and sometimes get caught in the branches or if you have branches really nearby um, they do get caught so let me show you how much my dog loves this toy. guys see he really feels like he's fighting it and it's pretty much stretched out right at its max when he does that see right there that's the max and uh it really feels like he's really giving a giving it a go here you know it feels like there's something resisting and which is really interesting for him this is a uh, tons of fun and this way it frees you up because he loves pulling on stuff and um yeah get some energy out like that send you out send your dog outside and uh you know just hang up one of these bad boys now i know they sell certain ones and i will put a link down in the descriptions that i find that is the closest one to this um that i made now they sell them this is just something i made and so i'll leave all those links guys so you guys can check it out maybe it's worth it for you guys to buy one or just to make one yourself but if you make it yourself you can kind of customize it and uh, with all the different lengths and stuff like that so 